morning. Let's talk about balance and particularly balance for the older adult. Now what do I mean by older adult? Really anyone who is cresting towards 60 and beyond who wants to maintain balance, whether you're walking on a very rooted type of unbalanced, uneven surface like a trail, or as you're thinking towards the fall and the winter and you're in a climate that has snow and ice, you'll be thinking about balance. So when we think about balance, there's a big world of balance. And I'm gonna talk about four components of it today. So when we're thinking about balance, I want you to think about hip all the way to foot. And we'll be talking a little bit about ribcage too, but I want you to think about this whole chain. The foot is what is on the floor, right? Obvious. So that's what we wanna have contact with. But the hip, the leg bone in this hip socket, the way that this leg bone moves in your hip socket is gonna impact where your foot is placed. So we have to pay attention to the hip. We have to pay attention to the foot. Along the way, the knee will obviously need some attention, not on this particular video, but we're gonna focus here and here and a little bit up here. Okay, so that's where we're gonna play. And to begin, I'd like you to grab a tennis ball or a massage ball. We're going to take the foot onto that massage ball. And there's so many ways that you can work with this ball. I'm just going to show you a really simple one of rolling your foot. Now you can do this in standing. You can also do it in, in sitting where you can have your foot on the ball and just rolling that foot, okay? So sitting or standing and just roll the ball and feel your foot. Feel the front of the foot, feel the arch of the foot, feel the tissue between the heel and the toes. Sometimes people do this, go a little slower. Really feel what's on that foot. The foot is what is making contact with the ground, right? The foot, in many ways, punctuates our posture, right? And as you've rolled out one, one side, notice what that foot feels like on the floor. Now this is just a short video, so I'm not gonna do the full amount of how much to do the roll, but when I'm working with my clients, anywhere between a minute or two minutes, if you need less, you need less. And now just when you're standing, notice what you're feeling when standing. And sometimes people can feel this all the way through the hip, up through the abdomen, into your rib cage. The key is, is for you to notice what you notice. Okay? Now the next thing I want you to pay attention to. Still talking about the feet. I'm gonna talk a bit closer to the camera. You're gonna look at the bottom of my foot. Okay, so you see the bottom of my foot here. And we've got the center of the heel, the ball of the foot, and the base of the pinky toe. And it forms a tripod or a triangle. That's what I want you to feel when, you're, when your feet are on the floor. So here, feel your feet on the floor and notice where your heel is. And all you need to do just notice, you don't have to push weight in there. Just notice the heel, the center of the heel. Notice the ball of the foot. Notice the base of the pinky toe. So you're standing on a tripod. Right now what's cool about this, I think, is it also orients you to the arches of your feet. So notice that with your feet. And then notice what goes on further up your chain when you notice your feet. Now. Imagine you've got roots of your feet and they're going down to the earth, into the core of the earth. And imagine that those roots touch the center of the earth, that core, and they're now coming back up and they're rebounding back up into you, in through your feet, in through your legs. And now feel what that's like. Relax your toes, feel those three points. Okay, now feel through
through the front of your hip here and slowly bend your knees, your hips, and your ankles. Okay, now I'm going to turn this way so you can see this orientation. And I want you to notice that I'm not doing this with my knees. What I'm doing is this. So hips, knees, and ankles. So I have this dowel here so you can see the hip movement. There's a hinge as I come down and up. So I'm not leaning forward through my upper body. I'm not pushing my knees forward. I'm moving through my hip. Now I put my hand on the fold between my bum and my and the back of my leg so that I'm hinging down and I'm thinking about lifting from here coming up. Okay, so there's a, a, a harmony in my joints as I come down. And there's a harmony in my joints as I come up. Now, relax through the ribs. Relax through the ribs. When we're um, having trouble with balance, it's not uncommon to grip in through the abdomen to hold the breath and to utilize the rib cage to kind of balance ourselves on top of our feet. So now feel your feet. Feel the feet connected to the floor and can you relax through your ribs? Yeah? Okay, now. And standing here. Feel those three points again. Now just that little bit of movement through your legs and your hips and your knees and your ankles. Now let's take some weight over onto this leg. All right, so you'll transfer some weight and move it onto this leg. Now notice, did your toes on this side all of a sudden grip? So can you relax your toes? Feel those three points of the feet. Bring some weight over onto that standing foot. Okay, good. Now I bring the weight over onto the other standing foot. So now you see how my weight is shifting left and then is shifting right. Can you still feel those three points? Or if you can't, notice when you lose that contact. Notice if you all of a sudden hold up in your ribs or in your jaw. Okay, now from here, you're going to start to bend through this leg. So more weight is now coming into this leg. So you're taking from two points, you're now taking it into a one point with some toes. Two points, both feet are on the floor. There's a bit of weight shift, and now you're coming into more like one point with a little bit on, of the toes on the, on the ground. Okay, now we start to rotate this leg off. And just notice what you're doing to hold yourself in this position. Have you done this? Now, typically people will say, push that back in. Let's just take a pause there. How about you notice when that starts to happen? So you're taking some weight and some strength in through the standing leg, and you're bringing a bit more weight out of this non-standing leg. Now notice when you lose, and it could simply be an awareness game, so notice when you start to lose it, and can you just be there, strong in the leg, easy in the foot, and then start to rotate. Be aware. Oftentimes, it's just a matter of an awareness that you might feel some strength in through this hip. Notice if this knee, the standing knee, wants to hyperextend. Have you lost contact with your foot? Or is it still there against the floor, easy, connected? Okay, good. Okay, other side. Weight comes over. Weight comes over. Okay. Now we're taking a little bit of weight out of this leg. More strength is coming into the standing leg, right? Coming onto the toes. Okay, good. Let's do it again. So you're feeling the foot on this side. Yeah. More weight's coming into the standing leg as you Take weight out of this leg. So what happens with your foot? What happens with your knee? What happens through your ribs? And then rotate that leg go. And do you kind of go as you do it? Okay, so just be aware. It's more about awareness than anything as you're starting to play with balance. Okay? So you notice what your toes do. You notice what the arches of your feet do. You're noticing what the knee is doing, if it wants to hyperextend, what other things are getting involved to help you balance? Yeah? So that leg bone is rotating. Good. Okay, now, you might be fine just there, okay? You 
may want to play with this. This is not a progression. This is just another exercise, okay? So we're taking some weight over into this standing leg. This foot is getting a bit lighter, and you start to lift the foot up. Maybe the foot comes up this high. Maybe the foot comes up this high. But the movement is through the hip. Even though the foot is coming off the floor, and the focus is on the hip, or on the foot, the movement's coming through the, the hip and the knee. So maybe you might need a chair, right? So you're gonna hold the chair easy, and then up you go. Now the whole time, you're spending and being aware of the center of the heel, the ball of the foot, the base of the pinky toe. As that hip, leg bone lifts and moves through the hip. Now you'll notice, sometimes what happens when people are practicing like this, and they don't really want to use a chair, but they kind of need to, but they don't want to. So what they'll often do is they'll come into here and go. But then they lose their balance, right? So here's what I want you to think about. Take the weight in through the leg. Feel the three points of your feet. Let this leg be stronger, the one closest to the chair. Keep the, the, the hand on the chair to the degree that you need it. And then feel the foot and feel the leg. This foot gets lighter. This leg gets stronger. Pay attention to your knee and your hip and your foot. Okay, now. You start to bring that foot wherever it is that you now feel like you're in your sweet spot. So it might be here with the toes on the ground, the legs getting stronger. You're feeling like it's a little effortful, or maybe it's a little bit higher. Okay, so wherever it is, just notice that. Now, with this hand, ever so slightly, lift the hand a little bit off of the chair. Now what's going to happen is you're now two points, right? If you've got this foot off the floor, or even if the toe is here, Compared to this position, you have 1 point, 2 point, 3 points. And then you have 1 point, 2 points, a half a point. Maybe the foot's off. Now you have 1 point, 2 points. So as you take this hand off of the chair, as you peel it off, your leg is now going to take more load. So notice that extra load coming into your body. It's got, it's got to go. If you're, if you're taking the hand off of the chair, it's got to, the load's got to move somewhere in your body. So notice it. Okay, good. That's how you can play with it, yeah? So if I bring the chair over here, and then start to lift, this leg takes more of the load, and you come up. Now say your foot's off the floor, or maybe your toes are here, yeah? Now you're gonna gently take a little bit of weight out of this hand, let the standing leg take the load. And notice that the standing leg doesn't want to take the load right now. Maybe your ribs want to take it or your jaw. So then back it off, let the hand come back. There's no coaxing that's needed. This is just a brain-body connection that needs to be rebuilt or refined. Yeah, and then slowly you find it. Maybe you find it in this, like in the next several seconds. Maybe it's later this week. Maybe it's next week. But practice, practice just very gently taking your hands, and then notice, like, don't just do this. I mean, you could, but you'll probably lose your balance. If you really want to play this balance game, then notice, feel the change of where the load goes in your body. Yeah. And then you'll start to improve it. Okay, good? Now, let's take a block here now. We're going to mimic going up a stair, okay? So you're going to take a hand, a hand, that's now my hand. <laughs> you're going to take a foot, you're going to place it on the block. Feel those three points and start to bring weight up onto that standing leg, okay? So feel the three points and bring your weight up onto that standing leg, that standing foot. Okay, I'm going to do it on this side. So here, feel those three points. Maintain the three points, be aware of your hips. You're coming from two points up onto one point. Two points up onto one point. Two points up onto one point. Okay? So notice what's going on with your feet when you do that. Okay, now let's play around with something. Let's take a block between the legs. 
And I just want you to stand here in standing in Tadasana. You don't need to try and squeeze the wood or maybe you've got cork or a foam. You don't need to squeeze the cork or the foam out of the block. Just hold the block between your legs. Feel your feet. Center of the heel, ball of your foot, base of your pinky toe. And now be aware of your ribs. Easy breathing. Easy, easy breathing. Okay, now from here, let's come back. And you're now up. Feel the center of the heel, ball of the foot, base of the pinky toe. And feel the weight shift over and up. Now you know the idea of your feet, now feel through your breathing. Can your breathing be easy as you bring the weight over to that foot and come on up? Now depending on where you're at, then you might be here, maybe holding onto the wall and you start to swing this leg a little bit, just a little bit. Now the thing with this leg swinging in the hip socket is anatomically we have about 3 to 11 degrees of movement before our pelvis gets into it. So keep the swing very, very small. Okay, and now from here, come off of that and now notice what you feel. All right, good, now other side. Foot comes up, weight comes over. Feel those three points along with your breathing and then swing it, if it makes sense. Okay, so just notice. So I've got my hand on, my, on the wall. Same idea as before is that if you've got the hand on the wall and you don't really want it there, then what I want you to play with is can you take a little bit more pressure off of your finger and the wall, feel the leg, take that load. Feel the leg, take the load, notice what changes. We don't want to grip our way into balance because that's not very balancey. Rigidity does not work with agility. But suppleness does. Okay, so now here. Now I'm standing. Good, easy breathing. Feel what you feel. Lovely. Okay, now let's take that block away and bring in the chair. So, whoa. And this is a video on balance. All right, come here. So, onto the chair. Now, I've got a tie here. You can use a regular yoga strap or you can use like a, um, a tie, um, like from a, like a tie tie or a tie from a bathrobe. Okay, now from here, just you just feel your feet on the floor, feel yourself breathing. Okay. And then take the tie and bring it around your ribs. Okay, so here and then around the ribs. Like that. Like that. And so keep me noticing your breathing, this becomes feedback. So notice where you feel yourself breathing. Whether it's in your chest, maybe it's the air coming in through your nose, maybe it's in your belly. Feel your feet. Now I'd like you to imagine bringing your breathing out to the side of your ribs. So try not to increase the volume of your breath. Feel the breath moving to the ribs. So you've directed wherever you felt the breath moving in your body, you've directed it to the side of your ribs. So your side of the ribs are moving laterally. Think about a bucket handle.
down. See if you can bring the breath to the back of your ribs. Same idea. Try not to increase the volume of your breath. And now feel both sides and back if you can. And then let the strap go or tie and just let a normal breathing come through. Now feel the center of your heel, the ball of your foot, the base of your pinky toe. Feel your knees and feel your hips. And notice if you can be aware of the connection between your hips and your feet. Can you feel your legs? Can you feel your ribcage and your neck and your face and your head? Easy breathing, reconnection, more clarity on what works and what doesn't work, greater feedback mechanisms on the inside between your brain and your body. course of the day, consider those three points of your feet. Feel your breath. Feel the connection between your hips, your feet, and the floor. We'll be doing a lot more on balance, so stay tuned. Have a great day exploring yours, and we'll see you tomorrow.